Okay, once everything is uploaded, right? Everything is uploaded, everything is converted, um, you're going to want to do something very, very specific. So, I'm going to use my own wedding just as an example, but you would basically find um, your wedding your wedding library file, so this right here, or like the one that I just created was here, it's called Sob Wedding, so you would find this right here, and then you would right click it, just like that, hold on, just like that, and then you would click show package contents, and that would show you all of the files that are uploaded in this library, so I'm not going to click this because there's nothing in here yet, but um, we're going to click on one of my most recent weddings that I'm working on. So I'll double click, show package contents, and then I'm going to click all clips. And then I'm going to go to not original media, but we need that converted media. So we need this transcoded media. So double click here, double click here, and then you'll see all of your files again. So here's what I've done. I've taken a look at all of these files and I figured out which files are, are uh, from the ceremony. So here are my three cameras, camera one, camera two, camera three. And this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to identify these files and then drag them into this program. It's called Plural Eyes. And it's right here. This is what it looks like. It's called Plural Eyes. It'll sync... Um, I don't know. Right now, I'm gonna. Right now, I'm about to sync uh, three different cameras and three different mics. So, let's just watch. I'll just do this really quick. So here's camera one, drag and drop, and then 228 until 237. And if you click up here, it'll give you a bigger thumbnail, and you can see, you can just tell where the ceremony starts. Like here's the aisle right here and then you can just go until the ceremony is done and then drag and drop so there's camera two camera one camera two and then here's camera three 594 594 until 597 just only a, f a few clips here Okay, so those are all the clips, and then I'm going to go find my audio files. My audio files are under Kelly Wedding, and then right here, Zelati Wedding Audio, and camera, or mic one, mic two, mic three. I'm going to take my pulpit mic. I taped a mic to like the reading stand. I'm going to take the groom's mic drag and drop and then I'm gonna take the priest mic and then drag and drop make sure I don't know if you can see this little blue line right here you gotta make sure that you get it on the blue line just like that okay otherwise it would become uh, a clip in audio recorder number two so take a look at all these files Okay, they're leveling and loading, um, and then after all of this is loaded, I will just press synchronize up here, and then it's good. Okay, everything's loaded. Um, sometimes you'll get something like this, a short clip warning, but just click OK, and then let's see if this works. Ready, set, synchronize, and then watch it flow. Go. Go, go. All right, go. It's got to be doing something here.
preparing media. So depending on how fast that laptop is, you might be waiting for a little bit just because it needs to prepare um, the, the microphones, like the audio mics. Sometimes they just don't match up very well and they, they do some things to tweak it. So let's see if it starts after this. Okay, so it's synced up already, but I'm going to sync it again just to show you how it works. So it starts off like this and then Pluralize will analyze each clip to make sure that um, it all lines up. It's pretty insane. Check it out. Okay, this is all synced up. So the next thing you want to do is to export your timeline. Before you do that, you need to open Final Cut Pro and then make sure that the wedding you want to imported in is open so I opened up this wedding um, and then let me show you what I'm going to do here so I'm going to export I'm going to click this import automatically and then click this create event with multi-cam clip click export I'm going to find a place to put this file so I'll put it in one of my hard drives click open And then right down here, you'll see it was exporting to Final Cut Pro. So I'll find the wedding that I wanted in. I want it in this one, Kelly Wedding. I'll choose. And then I'm going to have to do it again, Kelly, Kelly Wedding. This is for the multicam clip. They're creating two things. What I really want to show you is the multicam clip. So it's right here. Untitled one multicam clip. So start a new project. I'm just going to click ceremony. Okay, and then I am going to click on this multicam clip, and then bring it. I'm going to drag it down, just like that. If I don't want to do that, I have this shortcut right here. Okay, and then I'm going to fill this up. And I'm going to make this a little bit smaller. I do this by clicking Command and then the minus sign. I can make it all the way small, or I can click Command plus Command. And then I'll identify where the wedding's at. So somewhere over here. OK, so there, there, somewhere there. 